Hungry friends, today we're making favorki, also known as chrust or in English angel wings. I am making a dessert called chrust today. It also goes by name favorki or in America angel wings or chrustiki. This is a thin pastry that we're going to fry in oil. You want to start with heating up some oil and I'm using a cast iron pan uh, because I like how it holds my heat. So I have oil heating, um, start with that, just set it on low from if your settings from 1 to 10, I'd set it to probably 3 or 4 and have it heating while you're getting ready. And we'll, we'll make the dough now. So I have uh, four and a half cups of bread flour and um, a pinch of salt in here and I'm gonna add to it some eggs with sour cream so I have seven whole eggs uh, very rich dough and um, three tablespoons of sour cream so I'm gonna whisk this together and I also have butter somewhere butter has been melted and it's pretty cool but it's still liquid now so I'm just going to whisk these two together, the eggs and the sour cream, just till it's together a little bit. It doesn't have to be a super smooth uh, paste or anything. And I'm using the hook attachment. I'll do this first. This is a, a, a pastry that likes to be, or the, the dough that likes to be worked for a little while. That's why I'm using uh, my KitchenAid. So I don't have to spend a whole lot of time uh, kneading the dough. This will do the job for me. And to it, I'm gonna add one and a half tablespoons of melted butter. And also, this is a uh, every Polish grandma's secret. You go, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a <clears throat> two tablespoons of uh, high, con high alcohol content uh, li liquor. You can do, I think in America it's called uh, Everclear. You can do that. It's called Spiritus and it's 60% um, alcohol uh, in you can use whiskey or clear vodka or whatever you have just add it to the dough and grandma said that this will keep the dough from absorbing all, uh, oil when it's frying uh, she's always done that in our house and um, I hear everybody is using high volume alcohol like this to make these uh, these thin and crusty pastries. So my dough <clears throat> is, if you want to come over and look, it's kind of wet. I mean, I'm sorry, it's kind of dry. So I'm going to just let it kind of work itself out. Because so my dough is kind of sticky and uh, I think it needs a little bit of flour, a little bit of flour to uh, kind of get it together or I guess to combine better so I'm just adding maybe a tablespoon at a time uh, just to let it kind of get together with friends for the party and you want this uh, to to need for for a good couple minutes good two three minutes uh, we want a nice smooth dough. So I'm going to transfer my dough onto my handy dandy pastry board that I love. Uh, my dad made this for me when I moved back to Poland uh, a few months ago. And I call it grandma board, even though it wasn't my grandma's because it's brand new. But I'm hoping to be a grandma someday. and. 
that board will certainly outlive me. Um, he made it, out of, my dad is a woodworker, and he, he said he made it out of um, uh, either oak, uh, some t uh, really hard wood, so it'll last, like I said, it will outlast me for sure. Uh, and then I oiled it with probably about a liter of oil. It just soaked into the board and it preserves it. So I use it for making pierogi and rolling out dough like this. So I love it a lot. Um, so I just transferred the dough onto my board and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it like grandma used to say <laughs> too. How do I know it's done? Well, you'll look and you'll see. So just kind of look at it and you want it to just be smooth. And this is getting to that point. If you want to take a look at it, you'll see that it, the lumps that we had before are kind of gone. So that's probably, that's probably good. So I'm going to cut a little piece of it. This is probably enough. And you'll cut enough that will fit onto whatever space you're using. If you are using a smaller board or if you have a you're just using a countertop just kind of judge and we'll roll this out to be uh, a thin a thin uh, pancake I guess So favorki is uh, what we call this dessert in Polish, uh, or chrust. And chrust is a word describing, I guess, thin twigs that you um, use to start a fire or just dried twigs. Um, I imagine because that's what it, the pastry looks like when it's done it's it's really uh, crumbly and and soft I've also heard in America people calling it hrushchiki which is just a I guess like a nicer way of saying hrust and you want the dough pretty thin supposed to be probably eighth of an inch. And take your time rolling it out. And in the oil, the layers will kind of separate a little bit. And you don't want them doughy. You want them just kind of crispy and if you make it too thick, it'll be really doughy on the inside. So take your time, rolling it out. It's a very airy pastry, right? Yeah. It's a very airy pastry, very thin. Thin. Crust, I guess, crust is kind of sound like crust, so it's kind of crusty and airy. I'm almost there. Uh, I've used, uh, I have an attachment to my KitchenAid that's a pasta roller, and I have used it before to make these. And if you do, it'll kind of yield a very thin, long strip of, of dough, which is kind of what we want. But since not everyone has one, I'm kind of going old school and just rolling it out. I think we are there if you want to take a look at it. Just maybe the edges a little bit. So it's a really thin, thin layer of cake. And you can either use a knife or I have noticed that using a just a regular pizza cutter works really well because it kind of glides along. And we're gonna cut this into strips 
and then we'll, I'll show you how to make a twist on them to get, get them to be that uh, funky design. And you can go about, well, just about an inch, I guess. And we're gonna go with strips at first. This one may be a little bit too thick. This is a fun uh, job for kids. And especially when we get to the point where you have to twist them through the hole. And then they get to taste the food, so that's even better. But notice there's no sugar in the dough. Uh, the, most of the sugar comes from the powdered sugar that we'll put on top. Uh, so now we're gonna, I'm gonna cut this one in half. And I found they look kind of better or more appetizing when we go at an angle. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do one more to show you. I'm gonna cut this at an, the, this strip looks like can hold probably three small ones. Because if you make one like, long one like this, it'll just break up and uh, it'll be just into pieces. So I'm gonna do three out of this one and hole in the middle and then with your hole open one end goes in and push through and out and slowly kind of pull on it and let it fold out and again one goes in and push through and pull out aren't they pretty I'm gonna do, go ahead and do the rest until I'm out of space. So you, you want to prepare all of your dough before frying. Uh, so go ahead and uh, roll out all of it and make your um, favorki. And then when your oil is hot, just turn it, I turned it to six out of 10. And you can test your dough by placing one of them in, um, in hot oil and see how it'll react. And this one is going right to frying, so I'm gonna pop all of these in there. And we gotta work really fast because they will cook in no time. And have a spoon to turn handy and just kinda keep an eye on them. They will only take uh, sometimes 30 seconds on one side and sometimes they're flipping themselves because of the air that's being created on the inside. Like this one's getting brown, so I'm gonna flip it right away. And I, and I remember my, my grandma used to use a, a needling ne needle to flip them. And that worked for her. I don't have one handy, so I'm just using this wooden utensil. And I think I'm also gonna use this is called a coriander? <laughs> no. <laughs> and these are almost done and it's been what, like 30 seconds? And these are done. You don't want them darker than this or burning. So just very, very lightly take them out and put the next batch in right away and work with the rest of your dough until you are done. Don't crowd them, give them space. Look how pretty. And they, look how dry they look. They, they're not greasy, they shouldn't look greasy. And uh, I'm using uh, some, traditionally it's normally lard, they should be fried in lard. Um, you don't have to use lard, I'm using mostly vegetable oil. Uh, I like to use grapeseed, um, but I did add some lard to it today because I had some and I, it does give them a little bit of flavor too. So I think I used about 
uh, nine ounces of lard and the rest was oil but this alcohol we added to the dough should keep them light and not oily on the outside at all and as soon as this batch is done I have to taste them so we will sprinkle them with some uh, powdered sugar and give it a taste and it doesn't take them much at all because they're thin and I'm gonna move this off my off the heat because I don't want the oil burning and I have some They have just a little bit of fat on them, but not too bad. I'm gonna do this is nice coat of powdered sugar. And I'll give it a taste. Look. Aren't they gorgeous? Not too difficult either, are they? Don't don't breathe when you're eating these. Oh, they're crispy. Always crispy when they first come out. But they will get a little softer when uh, once they sit and get a little bit of moisture out of air. Aren't they good? <laughs> Beautiful, crispy, gorgeous, roast, favorti angel wings call them what you will you gotta make them cheers much nigga hello my hungry friends today we're making crust crusties <laughs> see how it's smooth this is smooth I got nothing <laughs> Have a sip of that, you'll get something. Yeah.